16 okay. days. 16 days to the wedding. She'd been working hard. What is it, 40 foot? A lot of progress. She's got the 45 foot unassisted wedding aisle walk. Look at that. Probably the most amazing thing about Erin is, is she is tough and she's fearless. And, and her strength is is really been seen by the adversity she's gone through. It is day four. We're still here. Still not a lot of answers. She went in for quick routine surgery so she could dance tonight, right? And uh, she wakes up and no feeling in her left side. She can't, she can't walk, she can't do anything. In the wheelchair, about to go bust out of here. Blowing this pops up stand. When we got out of the hospital, we had a very difficult conversation. We're like, guys, look, there's all this stuff going on. You can't walk. Uh, maybe it's time to put things off. And Aaron looked at me and said, Dad, I can do this. She said, I can do this. I'm just so happy that you guys found each other. Of all the people I could have picked, he is the one. Like, he is the one for Aaron in so many ways. The way that she talked about him, the way that they looked at each other, I knew that something was God there. unites purposes. And I believe that God united Spencer and Aaron with a purpose. The most supportive couple, like a power couple for real. The way they love each other, the way they see each other, the way they fight through things with each other, I think it's very beautiful. You can see it. The love is just there in everything that they do. I just wish you two nothing but happiness. You two have been a blessing to us, a blessing in my life. There's a verse in the Bible, he that findeth a wife findeth a good thing. And I'm very thankful that my brother found a good thing. Tonight, you know, it's a special occasion. We're just adding to the family. Getting a daughter-in-law that can cook. She makes some mean soup. Uh, I'm a little nervous about Saturday. I said, John, I'll coach you through it. No. Yeah. I got you. I got you. Spencer, since I was a little girl, I have dreamed of this day. I've been planning this day in my mind for 23 years, much like I've been planning every little detail of my life until the moment that I met you. Here we are again, love. I never could have imagined or even planned a man like you, even though I might have tried to. <laughs> Apart from my salvation, you are the greatest gift that I've ever received. Three months after we started dating, our lives vastly changed. We went from date nights in our college towns, concerts and football games, to date nights in hospital rooms, doctor's office visits, and endless surgeries. But our love is worth the war If you'll only surrender your heart We were dating for a couple months. I mean, I don't even think it was three months. And we were watching the B movie, of all things. <laughs> And I got so sweaty, like red in the face. I felt like I could not breathe. Yeah. And it was like, I had to tell him I loved him. I had to tell him, and I was like, no, you can't do it. You, I, you can't do it, like, don't do it. And I kept telling myself, you can't do it, you can't do it. But it was like God was just like knocking at my heart, like, gotta do it, gotta do it. And we had focused so much on taking things slow. And I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know. I don't know if I'm ready yet. I finally said it, I was like, so. I think I, I love you. And he, it was like a long, awkward pause, and it was, he was like, well, that's really sweet. And I was like, oh my gosh, like, of course, great, awesome. And the crazier part was the next morning was my wreck, and it was, um, it was like 
the Lord was telling me that He needed to hear that because the next couple months were, I mean, hard for me, but I can't even imagine what He went through. Her cousin on Instagram messaged me while I was in class and was like, hey, you need to get a hold of Aaron's mom. Uh, Aaron's been in a wreck. And I got there just in time to see the helicopter flying. The state trooper and some of the cops were like, she's losing a lot of blood, but uh, she's going to be OK. Will we make it out love? He was headed to the hospital. He said all the emotions hit him, and he knew. He was like, I just knew in that moment, like, you were someone really special. And you were someone that wasn't just going to leave my side. And I knew that in the hospital, because he never left my side, and he still doesn't. We've been through. 14 surgeries now and the physical therapy and we've weathered through and it's it's just a god thing and I'd break every lie. spencer was amazing in the darkest of our moments spencer was a freaking rock in sickness and in health you never left my side you pushed me to dig into the truth that I didn't have to plan everything because God had plans for my life that were so much bigger than any plans I could ever imagine for myself. And you were right because God made you and he made you for me. Oh, goodness. Oh, sweetie, you're so beautiful. When Aaron's accident <laughs> happened, that drove home how special this relationship is to me and, you know, could have lost her. It's going to be an awesome day. My like, gosh, you look amazing. To just watch you since that accident persevere and be the powerful woman you are has just been inspiring. You've always been this strong, steadfast figure in my life and in so many, and it's just powerful. You can manage surgeries, recoveries, and physical therapy, all the while making life as normal as possible. This has shown me your heart over the years, and it is pure and beautiful and full of love. I could not be a happier man to get to have all that love given to me today. I can't explain how happy I will be to see you walk down the aisle, knowing all the hard work you have put into just being able to walk. journey, you'll always be my home. This is a very anticipated celebration. See, God made you, Aaron, and you, Spencer, with today in mind. And we recognize today that God has blessed Spencer and Aaron and has guided them to this very moment. I, Aaron, take you, Spencer, to be my husband. My friend and my lifelong companion. My friend and my lifelong companion. I will be faithful to you all my days. We'll be honest with you always. And we'll cherish, love, and adore you. We'll cherish, love, and adore you every moment of my life. Every time you see this ring, remember how much I love you. And every time I see this ring, and every time I see this ring, I'll thank God I'm yours. I'll thank God I'm yours. I now pronounce that you are husband and wife. Spencer, the moment you've been waiting a long time for, my friend. <laughs> you may now kiss your beautiful bride. For the very first time, 
Ooh. Mr. and Mrs. Micah Spencer DeFore. <laughs> Got me wanting more, yeah. Got a feeling never felt before. Got me buzzing. I'm excited, Jack. Are you ready to dance? Dance, I'm ready to dance, baby. You got something that I can't deny. Got me so excited, got me feeling high. Got me humming. It's a strike, I can feel this. Oh my god, it's so Buzz, 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 got me buzzing. Buzz, 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 got me buzzing. Buzz, 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 got me buzzing. Buzz, 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 got me buzzing. Who should go first? Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors. Oh, I finished. <laughs> All right. That means you go first. All right, I'll go.